Oh my gosh, I just went to film my intro for you guys. Ugh. And I sat down on the backseat of one of my boyfriend's golf carts and all the water came like pouring down on my hood. Ah, that was coming down on me. Okay, well I guess I'm not gonna sit there, but um, basically I wanted to intro this video for you guys because obviously it has been a hot minute since I've been in front of the camera, let alone filming a video to show you guys, which is totally crazy. And excuse the chaos behind me, it is all my boyfriends. Um, but I wanted to say, hello you guys um and kind of what i want to explain this video because it's confusing so what happened was over the last six weeks i probably picked my camera up once a week and filmed tiny little snippets of vlogs and then forgotten about them either forgotten i was vlogging became overwhelmed with all the corona stuff became overwhelmed with all the teaching stuff and so i said what the heck let's just compile all of it into one video put that video out for there for you guys so if you like it yay and if you don't it is what it is, but sorry, so many people were walking by, but I just want to say, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and roll the footage. Ah, the rain is coming. So I have to go now, but please enjoy and regular vlog coming soon. Bye y'all. I feel like that's like um Eminem. I don't know, but I'm back, y'all. It is officially Friday of the third week of school. So clearly it's been a minute. But if you are a teacher, especially hold on. I wanna put you guys down. You know if you are a teacher, the first or if you've already started teaching, the first few weeks of school can be absolutely 110% overwhelming um and I think that paired with all of the COVID stuff that's going on I was especially drained I was also kind of struggling with seriously don't mind me I'm just like get my computer up and rolling but I was really struggling with like how do I bring the camera into my classroom and show you guys what's going on without getting criticism because COVID the corona stuff like it is really so touchy and everyone's handling it in such a different way. And I know how I'm handling it versus how my district's handling it, um, how the school's handling it, how my kids are handling it. Um, oh Lord, let me. Okay, I am back from parent emails, but um, I'm back. But like I was saying, it's just really, really nerve wracking to be teaching in person with all the COVID stuff. It's a lot of new policies. My kids are getting used to the policies. I'm getting used to the policies. Um, and I just wasn't ready to pick up the camera quite yet and show you guys what was going on because I wanted to make sure I was keeping me safe, keeping my kids safe and you know, all those good things. But that being said, let's hop right in. If you are new here, I am a high school science teacher in Florida. Um, I teach biology, ecology, and environmental science. And actually today I am teaching all three and it is 7 45 which means my kids will be here in 15 minutes so what you saw earlier was me setting up my lab hopefully i do some voiceovers to explain it all but um because i don't have time right now um but right now what i want to do is just i want to super quick whip together a review worksheet for my environmental science students i feel like I'm dyslexic. I took a dyslexia test and it said yes, um, that I definitely was, but it's not like a doctor that said it. Um, but for some reason, like this should be their very last day of like notes and info or not notes and information, but this should be like their study day. Um, and then take our quiz next time we see each other. But y'all, I have struggled so much with 
what's the word for it? I've struggled so much with like dates this school year. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I want to super quick whip together a review sheet for them. Today we're going to do notes, some Quizlet Live, and then I think a review worksheet. So we're going to kind of go from there, but I need to whip that together right now in the next 15 minutes. So I'm going to see you guys when I see you. Just know I loved you. I missed you. And I'm back. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot I was vlogging today and I have to vlog because it has been so long. Excuse me. Oh, that's so rude of me. I'm sorry. So they wanted to vlog today because I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot. I realized yesterday it had been 20 days since the first day of school and I have not put anything out, which is just, you know, not what I want. Like I want to be able to put stuff out and for you guys to love it and enjoy it. And the school year is passing by. So I figured what the heck, it was time. So I definitely wanted to finish vlogging today. Um, the lab went so well. Luckily, my class, that class is really, really small. It only has 13 kids. So I was able to set it up in a way that's like totally COVID safe. You know what I mean? Um, so that was really, really awesome. But it was also good because it was my first time doing it ever. So it's good to do it with a small class to kind of like see what was going wrong, what was going right. But I wanted to shout out the girl who made the lab because I did buy it on Teachers Pay Teachers with our teacher money. So I bought the Macromolecule Murder Mystery Lab um, by It's Not Rocket Science on Teachers Pay Teachers. And it was actually so much fun. You can see the cleanup behind me. Um, I really, really liked this. Macromolecules is an area that kids tend to test poorly on. So to be able to have something that was so cool was really, really awesome. And I put my Bluetooth speaker, oh, you can see it right there. Um, and I played murder mystery music, like instrumental murder mystery music the whole time. So like they came into the room and normally there's a bell ring your notes and I just had the music going and I didn't say anything. Um, so it was really fun to do that and they really enjoyed it. So I hope, but um, yes, so. I'm excited. Macromolecules is kind of, I don't know. There's not a bunch of fun stuff for macromolecules. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Ooh, I have some of my stuff left over. Um, 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 um. I just have some of my positive controls, some of my negative controls. So really cool stuff. So I environmental science. I got their Jenga jumbo stuff made in time for them walking in the door. So that was awesome. I'm really proud of that. Um, if you have not watched my videos before, let me show you what Jenga Jumble is. So I bought six sets of Jenga and what I do is I number them. So like each block will have a number on it. So based on which block they pull out relates to which question they'll answer on the worksheet. So I think Jenga has 53 blocks. So you have to come up with 53 questions. It sounds a lot harder than it is, but it's really easy. The one bummer about Jenga is I could not find these at any used store. So I did have to buy them all new, but it's an incredible tool. It will honestly take your kids like 60 minutes to do the whole thing. So it's a great use of time. So honestly, in my opinion, well worth the investment. So what I like to do is over two class periods, I will have one group or over two class periods, I'll have them start the Jenga jumble, finish it the next class period, and then we'll do Quizlet Live with some review notes built in here and there. And then that's perfect, covers two whole class periods, great for review, the kids like it because they're games. Um, oh, but I'm going to clean my face, because don't worry, I am masked all the time when kids are around, but I'm gonna clean my face, run to the restroom, grab a snack, and then I have ecology and environmental science. So I will see you guys later, bye y'all. Good morning you guys it's 6 55 a.m i just got to the town that i teach in and i'm at Duncan Donuts. i'm so excited so if you guys have been watching my vlogs for any period of time you know that i have a horrible or i had a horrible addiction to dunkin donuts like um pre-packaged coffee oh my gosh my truck just hit the curb okay that's embarrassing but i had this horrible addiction oh god i'm like still stuck on the curb um but i had this horrible addiction to pre-packaged dunkin donuts coffee and the reason that was is because i live on an island that has no chain anything our only 
chain store on the whole island is like a marathon gas station. So there's only one coffee shop on the island, which is amazing. Some of my friends own it, but <clears throat> they don't open till 7 a.m. I leave the island at about 5.50 in the morning, 6 in the morning, whatever it is. So they are definitely not open yet. So no Dunkin' Donuts coffee for me, no Starbucks coffee for me, but the town that I teach in does have a Dunkin' Donuts. Ah! So this year I've been working really hard not to buy any of that Dunkin' Donuts coffee from the gas station. You know, okay, hold on, curb, fighting the curb. Oh, yes, wait, I must still be on it. Okay, hold on. Dunkin' Donuts, I'm growing. Hi, can I get a hot, medium, um, mocha latte, please? You got it. And then what, what's y'all's milk alternatives? I have almond milk and oat milk. Can I do oat milk, please? Instead of regular milk? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, medium mocha oat milk latte. Not yes. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, either way, I used to always buy those Dunkin' Donuts uh, cold mochas from the gas station in the fridge. Like, every single day I needed one. And if you've ever had one, they're like chock full of caffeine. Uh, so I finally started to wean myself off those because I think they're like two to three bucks a pop, which isn't a ton, but it's also, you know, buying it every single day, a bit on the extreme side. So last year I started to wean myself off of it. And there is a racetrack gas station on my way to work. And so I started stopping there. What in the world? So I, sorry, my hair is drying. Um, I started stopping there and they did medium coffees, hot coffees that are just as good for $1.20. And so also amazing, such a good deal. But after a while, I'm like, you know, hold on, you guys, this curb sucks at this. Oh my god. You guys, this Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru is like not it great. This car is so close behind me. It has like a full 90 degree turn that you cannot make in a pickup truck. And so the only way to like do is like turn back up and try again. Oh god, hold on, hold on. You guys are about to just Friday of week five. So you might be saying, what the heck, Hannah? Where have you been? Well, honestly, we are doing full in-person teaching, which has been, well, we've been doing full in-person teaching and teaching online classes for students who want to be virtual. And ooh, that's a little too much. And it has just been crazy. Like me figuring out the balance of my life has been it's been totally bananas if I'm being honest. And so like, I really just needed to take this last month to create balance in my life, to figure out what was going on and like really dedicate full energy to either my work or full energy to me decompressing from work. So I'm sorry I didn't pick up the camera. I have missed y'all so much. I've thought about you every week come Sunday or Monday or you know, whenever I should be editing and uploading videos. I've been thinking about you guys being like, dang, this week is gonna be the week and then I've just been teacher tired. But this week, your girl is back and I feel it. Like I, at week five, was the mark where I felt like I am in my groove. I'm back, so I'm back with y'all. So I'm so excited. Um, obviously, the usual I'll carry you guys around. Um, if you are new here, excuse the pimple patch. My mask is causing me to break out really badly. If you have tips, please comment them down below. But right now, I'm doing pimple patch. Um, but I feel like I'm literally Back in high school, I mean, I know I am literally in a high school classroom, but I feel like I'm 15 years old again with this. But that's okay. Um, but I'm just gonna do the huge, carry you guys throughout my day, and just know I've missed you. I'm glad we're back, and the day's rolling. We're feeling good. Okay, I will see you guys when I see you. Bye.